So President Obama spoke bluntly about racism in a conversation with comedian Mark Moraine Marin in his WTF podcast. Um, and he was, you know, they had a very honest conversation. And as part of that conversation, the president used the N-word. And he used the N-word to describe the legacy of racism that exists in America. One of the quotes from the, from the, the interview was this. The legacy of slavery, Jim Crow, discrimination in almost every institution in our lives, you know, that cast a long shadow and is still part of our DNA that pa that's passed on, Obama says. And Obama's 100% right. And you know what? For once in my life, and don't get me wrong, on politically, me and this president disagree on a lot of things. But I am happy to see this president, the leader of the free world, attack racism on his head. He used the word, he used the N-word in this particular interview to make a point. The point he was trying to make is, is yes, America, we have racism in this country. Charleston, Carolina proves it. But we can't tackle racism if, we've, if we're going to be politically correct all the time. We need to have a real conversation about racism. And that means we need to have a real conversation about the use of the N-word, which white people use all the time, which other presidents have used, LBJ, Eisenhower, Truman. Hell, who knows? Ronald Reagan might have used it a couple times behind closed doors. I mean, he acted like it. End of the day, America, I don't fault this president for lay, using the word to lay out and create a larger narrative. Yes, if you're a Caucasian, that word probably made you uncomfortable. But you know what? Racism should make you uncomfortable. And the job of a good ally here is to have uncomfortable conversations to make our nation a better place. Right